The Leafs are back in Toronto after a 10 game road trip and there'll be a new face on the ice. Well, at least a clean shaven face as the duster that's been a topic of conversation for years is no more. Uh, I don't know. I look a little bit younger, I think, but I'd have to agree. Uh, I feel like I'm 16 again. A smiling and stashless Austin Matthews, a sight fans haven't seen in years. After he got rid of the old third eyebrow on his face, Matthews said he would shave the mustache if he raised $134,000 for a Movember campaign. So what's that mean to you? It means a lot, honestly. I mean, just the support and everything uh, throughout the month. And um, you know, like you said, just being able to make a difference. and. Uh, an impact, um, you know, raise awareness for, for an amazing cause. The Leafs are red hot, winning 14 of the last 16 games as they welcome Colorado to the rink. And just down from here where the Jays play at the Rogers Center, they've made a number of moves and today introduced fans to their new $110 million pitcher. Really excited to have another opportunity to be adding a new member to the organization. Very grateful for, for Kevin and Taylor deciding to come north of the border to Toronto. Got him. The Toronto Blue Jays signed right-handed pitcher Kevin Gossman to a five-year deal worth a cool $110 million U.S. Just very thankful. Um, you know, Toronto has been a special place for us in the past and uh, made my debut there. And so, you know, I'm excited to, to hopefully be ending my career at the same place that it started. The 30-year-old was named to his first All-Star team last season and is excited to join the roster of young talent. You know, feel like we have everything we need now. And so, uh, you know, uh, I've been a, a huge fan of the fan base. The six-foot right-hander tied for first in the National League with 33 games started and ranked fourth for strikeouts last season with the Giants. While he is excited to join the Blue Jays, he's now in a division that isn't as pitcher-friendly and has had a few moments of his own at the Rogers Center that weren't the best on his resume. Unfortunately, been a part of some really uh, good moments for them, not necessarily for me at the time being, um, you know, the walk-off in 16, but... You know, I just feel like I'm not the same pitcher that I used to be. And so, um, you know, I have way more confidence going in there knowing that, um, you know, listen, you're going to give up home runs, but as long as it's uh, there's not many guys on base, you're usually going to be all right. And a quick NBA note surrounding the Miami Heat and Kyle Lowry. There was lots of speculation that when that deal happened that there may have been some rules broken when it came to some tampering. Well, the league did an investigation and the results found that the Miami Heat did violate some tampering rules. The Miami Heat's punishment will be that they will lose their next second round draft pick. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.